The thing about being being a father is like suddenly you're you're a, a singer of nursery rhymes. You are the hero. It's like no matter how old you are, you have to bring yourself to their world. And I think that's the best thing you could experience ever. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, record, record. Okay. 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 Alright, uh, my name is Amri. Uh, I'm a father of two, a boy and a girl, and uh, I'm staying in Sri Damansara. Let's see. Yen? Yen? Yeah. We're coming in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Papa and your friend. Hi. Hi, Adi. Ah! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, ow, ow, ow. You're got you. Okay. 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 Alright, so this is my first born baby. His name is Reiko and Arya. So when he was born, uh, basically he was a cleft baby. So cleft baby is a condition where his upper mouth is missing a lip, you know. So um, it was quite an experience for us because we never had such experience, not even in the family or friends. So luckily we had Google. So we Google on how to manage him. So why I name him Rekwan? Basically, people usually go through the Islamic names and everything. I had a slightly different idea, but with no bad intention. But pretty much, he is, he is named after Rekwan from Wu Tang Clan. So a hip hop forever. That one, that one is small too, green color. What's that? Munch! Munch! Like this dinosaur. Like this yeah. dinosaur. Oh, like this dinosaur. Cute dinosaur, kan? Okay, my second kid, right? We had everything prepared, okay? In terms of buying stuff also, because she's the second baby. So we had some baby stuff from the first baby. We were so prepared. But she came a week early. At 2 a.m., uh, suddenly my wife said, Oh, I feel that I want to take a shower. She was quite warm and everything. I said, okay. And she came out. She said, I think I'm going to give birth. So I was like, okay, let's go to the hospital because we had the baby bag, everything prepared, you know. And then suddenly she was like, you know, she had a little bit of contraction. And the next thing I know, the whole head was out. Like, no way she's going to get into a car. No way I'm going to call the ambulance. It's just got to happen there and then. I think like it wasn't that difficult. About two, three tries, the baby was out with the whole whatever inside of her came out. And then I was like, okay, let's go. And then suddenly like, my wife was like, why don't you shower first? Cause there was blood all over me. So I took the quickest shower in my life, came out and said, let's go. And she's like, I want to take a shower. I'm like, okay, so it's her turn. We call the hospital, say, hey, we're on our way. And then the hospital asked us like, do you want to deliver like normal or by Caesar? And then I'm like, the baby is out. And when we arrived, they were all over my wife, but she was so calm. It's like, I know what I'm doing. She's like, I got this, you know, that kind of thing. And, and anything could have happened, you know, like caught around her, the throat or even like, you know, like bleed and everything. Just don't do it at home. Just don't. Because anything could happen. But for us, Alhamdulillah, everything went well. Lah. Yeah. Hey, Ian. Hi. <laughs> Congrats. Okay, so this is my baby girl, the youngest one in the family. The smallest one in the family, her name is Reka Ariana Binti Zamri. She's my little princess. So I always tell Abang that's like, uh, Abang, you have to take care of everyone, and everyone have to take care of her. So that's how the love uh, goes around the house. Uh. Yep. Eh, Adi, okay? Siapa sayang papa angkat tangan? Oh, oh saya. There you go. Sayang papa. Okay, okay. Daddy's girl, okay. How would you describe fatherhood? In one word. Responsibility. Yeah. And uh, I think everything should go or should evolve around the heart. How you take care of, especially the woman in your life, your mom, your wife, and your daughter. These three. Because I feel that if you take care of these three women, right, the world will take care of you. Fatherhood to me is about you starting to know that the world is not just about yourself. And then when you have kids, you just have to, you don't divide it like 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. It's more of you just need to give 100, 100, 100, 100. You need to find more love to give and to care for the kids and the family. The thing about being being a father is like suddenly you're you're a, a singer of nursery rhymes, you are the hero, and this funny thing that people say, you know, like if a kid says ring ring, no matter who you are, you have to pick up that fake phone and say hello. No matter how old you are, you have to bring yourself to their world, 
And I think that's the best thing you could experience ever.